All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So the long awaited V jump leak for this month is officially here. I mean, at least we have the information. I haven't seen the image for the actual scan yet, but obviously it's the info that really matters, right? So a big shout out to uh, Miguel or DB Legends Japan on Twitter for posting all this stuff. And uh, let's just get into it. Okay, so of course he originally posted it in Japanese and here is the translation by Google. It says V Jump Leak. Finally, the Majin Buu edition is complete at a story event. So that means we're getting a new Majin Buu or Buu Saga themed story event. Let's join Mr. Satan and Son Goku. So this means that there's going to be two new free to play units from the story event, a new free to play Hercule, as well as a free to play Goku. And both of them can be token awakened through the medals we collect uh, in the stages of the story event. And there's also going to be a grand total of 100 free dragon stones available through the global versus JP campaign, which is also pretty freaking awesome. And finally, LR Hercule is getting an extreme C awakening. All right, so. There you go guys, that's all the info we got from this month's V-Jump leak. Um, obviously there's a lot more to it, like the Dual Dokkan Fest, we don't know what the units are yet, and uh, we also don't know uh, a bunch of other maybe new events or new mechanics. Actually, yeah, we know new mechanics are coming, but we don't know the specifics of like how these mechanics are going to work, right? So there's a lot of information still up in the air, still a lot of questions, but uh, this is not really a surprise because when it comes to these V-Jump leaks for these major celebrations, they tend to uh, keep things fairly, what's the expression, uh, close to the vest, right? They try to like keep most of the really hype stuff a secret until we get closer to the uh, actual celebration. And uh, this is all we got for now. Oh, my bad, forgot to turn off my alarm. There we go. And uh, that's, that's it guys, right? So new story event, new Boo Saga story event, no surprise there. Free to play units from the event, no surprises, a Hercule as well as a Goku. Uh, both can be Dokkan Awakened. And uh, this is actually the nicest surprise, obviously. A hundred total Dragon Stones, I'm assuming for both sides. Um, like Lobo will get a hundred, JP will get a hundred through the Global versus JP campaign. And uh, LR Hercule definitely, definitely needed that Extreme Z Awakening, so I'm super happy that this is happening as well. Actually, one part that makes me sad is that two days ago, I made a full guide for how to awaken and max out LR Hercule Super Attack, right? And uh, that video is now not quite obsolete, but definitely outdated, since in that video, I didn't really account for an Extreme Z Awakening. So now there is going to be a third Hercule that needs to be awakened to LR status as well to uh, get a super attack 25 once he gets that easy A, right? So um, for anybody that watched that video, keep that in mind. I'll probably make an updated one once the campaign actually starts. But uh, yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate. And also, as far as the 100 stones go, we don't know how to get them at the moment. Talent actually made a tweet uh, a couple hours ago where he was like, Yo, this 100 stone thing is literally going to be the 55th ticket thing again, right? Where like everybody will just non-stop be asking about how to get these 100 stones, right? So uh, that's going to be fun for all the content creators, but uh, either way, can't wait to actually, you know, find out how to get these stones. I'll keep you guys posted in a future video, of course, as always. But uh, for now, we don't know exactly how all 100 stones are going to be obtainable, I'm assuming, just through like missions and campaigns and all that stuff, but maybe there's some like unique way to get them, and uh, if there is, I'll make sure to let you guys know, of course, in another video. And is there anything else really to talk about here? Not really. Um, you know, like I said, we don't know what the Dual Dokkan Fist is. I still think it's going to be definitely a Kid Boo, and then probably a Super Vegito. Um, I mean, some people have said, like, you know, they might throw in, like, a Super Saiyan 3 Goku or a Majin Vegeta, but I just feel like it's a little bit too soon since we already had, like, the Dual Dokkan Fest between a Majin Vegeta and a Super Saiyan 3 Goku, or at least, like, Super Saiyan 2s that transform, right? So, I just think that it's too soon for another Majin Vegeta and another Super Saiyan 3 Goku, but I could be wrong, obviously. Um, I do think Super Vegeta is definitely going to be in the mix, whether he's part of the Dual Dokkan Fest 
or he's going to be the non Dokkan Fest out Lara for the Legendary Summon banner in part 2 because Vegito is just way too hype. You know what I mean? So, and, and oh, by the way, I do think it's going to be a Vegito that starts off as a Super Vegito as opposed to a base Vegito because if it's a base Vegito, then you can't run him with the 5 year LR Vegito. That would just be stupid. So, it would definitely be an LR Super Vegito to start as opposed to base form 2 Super Vegito. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, everything's up in the air. I do think that it's definitely going to be a kid boot at the very least. But we'll have to see for the other units. And uh, that is the V-Jump League, man. I'm sorry if it wasn't as hype as some people were expecting, but that's essentially how these things go. Um, as I said, they try to keep things fairly low-key in these V-Jump Leagues when it comes to, like, new information because um, they want to surprise us. Now, people have been asking Ashley about whether or not we would get a... Um, what's it called again? A live stream, right? Like we had last year to reveal some of the new units, some of the new events, the animations and all that stuff. And to be honest, I feel like it's very unlikely that uh, we'll actually get that this year. I mean, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. I really want a live stream. But given the whole situation, right, with the, uh, the, the thing that people tell me not to say in videos because the YouTube algorithm might not like it. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about, but with that situation going on, it's really hard for them to obviously get a lot of people together to run a live stream. They could still do it, obviously, if they did like a remote one with everybody, you know, like zooming in from their uh, from their their houses. But it might just be too much trouble for them to set it up. So I feel like a live stream is kind of unlikely, but it could still happen. You know, like there, there's a chance. There's definitely a chance, but. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold my breath for it, is what I'm trying to say. So, if there is a live stream, then I'll be streaming it as well. We're going to do another, like, one of those viewing parties, like we did last year. And hopefully, we can get somebody who actually speaks Japanese on the stream, so they can, like, live translate for us. Because last year, it was, it was actually funny, because, like, every single time something happened, um, I would be like, yo, what's going on? And, like, we would all be confused, even though, like, I was hosting the stream, because I couldn't understand Japanese, right? And uh, most people in the chat could not understand Japanese either, so hopefully we can get somebody that can like translate for us, that'd be dope, but uh, we'll see man, I'm, obviously this is all contingent on whether or not a stream actually happens, and uh, if not then hopefully they still make a video for us, like a Dokkan Now style video, where they uh, reveal some stuff and also give some, you know, free stones at the end, but uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see guys, that is the Beach Jump League for today, thank you very much for watching, quick recap, New Boo Saga story, new free to play Hercule and Goku. Um, both have to open awakenings through the event, global campaign, global versus JP campaign, under total dragon stones up for grabs, and LR Hercule Extreme Z Awakening. Once more information comes out about all this stuff, I'll make sure to keep you guys in the loop. Big shout out to Miguel, uh, aka DB Legends Japan. And uh, until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And um, that's it. <laughs> I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have an awesome day. Awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.